One of the greatest cartoon fighting games is lost forever. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about Cartoon Network's TKO, a Flash game that came out in 2011 and took our childhood dreams by storm. TKO stands for Titanic Kung Fu Bot Offense, and it was one of the best if not the best cartoon fighting game you could find during its time. So let's break it down today and talk about the history of this game and why it should return in another format. With that being said, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to check it out. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button as I'm trying to reach 25,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And we are super close, only like 2000 subscribers to go everyone. So with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So like I said, this game came out in 2011 on Cartoon Network's website and featured tons of awesome characters from their different shows. The game took characters from nine of its most popular cartoons at the time of its release, ending with a total of 28 characters by the time the game was shut down. Now, part of the reason I love this game so much is because it included tons of Ben 10 and more specifically Generator Rex characters, which was one of, if not still, my favorite cartoon of all time. I am a huge Generator Rex fan and I love collecting all types of stuff from the series, especially since it only got three seasons. Underrated show, I totally want to make like a separate video just on Generator Rex as like a passion project. But with that being said, let's go through the roster of TKO. Starting us off, one of the biggest faces of Cartoon Network, Finn the Human, was a mainstay on this game from Adventure Time. He is an iconic Cartoon Network character and I just love Finn as a character in general. From the Ben 10 series, we had characters from Ben 10, Alien Force, and Ultimate Alien. Starting with Armadrillo, we had Big Chill, Clockwork, DN Aliens, which were actually like side character villains in the show. We had Kevin Levin, Wraith, Shock Squatch, I really hope I said that correctly, Swamp Fire, who is the goat, by the way. Uh, we had Ultimate Big Chill, Ultimate Echo Echo, Ultimate Humongosaur, and of course, Vilgax, the absolute goat of Cartoon Network villains. From the TV series Chowder, we had our boy Chowder in this game, and we had our boy Rada Rada Schnitzel. Like I said, we got some Generator Rex characters, starting with Agent 6, we got Boba Haha, -Ha, we got Generator Rex himself, and an upgraded Rex, the Ben 10 Generator Rex Heroes United crossover version, which is such a cool tie-in character to add to this game, and Van Kleiss, the main villain villain of Generator Rex's series. We've got other iconic characters like Johnny Test himself and Magnus from Symbiotic Titan, probably the most underrated cartoon of Cartoon Network's career in my opinion. Symbiotic Titan is one of the best cartoons that definitely deserved a lot more love when it first came out. We maybe got like one, two seasons at the most, I think. Super, super underrated. We also got Flapjack from The Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack and another underrated show, The Secret Saturdays. We got Munya, Van Rook, and Zack Saturday. Super, super cool series. And we also got Total Drama Island's Duncan and of course, our boy Chef. Now, although the game only had 28 characters by the time it was over, it was actually supposed to have at least 30 due to some concept art of our boy Aku from Samurai Jack and the alien Goop from Ben 10 Alien Force. Now, one thing that made this game pretty unique compared to a lot of other fighting games is that they had to solve a very unique issue. Now, when I talk a lot about characters that I want in games like Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter, a lot of characters such as like Chucky might not make sense because of their size. And you can see how that might be a problem in a fighting game like this, where you have characters like Johnny Test, who are a child or Flapjack, who are like two feet tall versus characters who are a normal height, like Generator Rex or Ben 10. So to fix this, the artists of this game actually decided to make these titanic kung fu robots so that way we could scale all the characters to the same size. That way everyone had the same hitbox, but they could each 
have their own unique design based on each cartoon character, which is super unique and a very, very creative solution to this very common problem that a lot of fighting games fall into. Now, one thing that made this game super special for its time was that it played like a lot of other fighting games. Now, this game had light attacks, heavy attacks, sweeps, it had throw moves, it had special abilities for each individual character and different animations, and it even had super moves for each individual character. They had to work on a very tight schedule for this game, but that did not stop them from adding new characters almost every week during its release. This game was getting updated all the time, and a lot of this was because of Brad Merritt, the developer of the game, that added all of these really cool, unique things that made this Flash game feel like a real like triple A fighting game. Obviously, today's standards are a lot higher than back then, but for 2011, this was not bad for a Flash game, not even close. And honestly, one of the best things that I think they added to this game was private matchmaking. That's right, this Cartoon Network Flash game had private matchmaking. If you were at your house and your friend was at their house and you guys lived far away and you wanted to play TKO against each other, you could do so by sending each other a code that directly linked your matches, which was like super, super cool back then. I mean, I didn't even think that that was possible back, back then, but it was so fun being able to call up your friend and be like, dude, get on TKO, type these numbers in, and let's fight each other. So as fun as this sounds, you know, Generator X, Chowder fighting each other, sounds awesome. I am probably blinded a little bit by nostalgia. So I wanted to re-download the game or find it online and see if the game still holds up. But that's where I have some unfortunate news for you guys. The game is lost, or at least partially lost. When you search for TKO online, you'll find one of two things. You'll either find the game that links to the website, which now would link to max.com or Cartoon Network streams a lot of its content, or you'll find the actual embedded TKO game, but unfortunately, you'll be stuck in an infinite loop of trying to connect to Cartoon Network servers that no longer exist. So unfortunately, that's where the status of TKO is at right now. It's an unplayable game. You can still find the Flash game, but it's just not playable without the servers. It kind of sucks. I really hope that a fan out there recreates TKO from the ground up or tries to get assets from the Flash game somehow and or just breaks the Flash game somehow. I'm not sure how you can do that. I'm not a programmer. All I do is play games and talk about them. But with that being said, I want to know what you guys think of TKO. Personally, I want to see a revival of this. I would love to see TKO come back on Cartoon Network's, you know, gaming side with new characters. You know, this doesn't even have Mordecai and Rigby on it. You know, we're missing tons of iconic Cartoon Network characters, especially from today's era. I mean, the Teen Titans aren't even in this. There's so many characters they could add. So let me know what characters you think they should add in a TKO revival, whether or not they should. And do you guys remember playing this game? And if you guys don't, I feel bad for you because this game was a lot of fun, let me tell you. And with that being said, everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. If this if this video blows up, I'd love to do a deep dive into TKO where I can like analyze every character in their different move sets and everything. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Comment your guys' thoughts on Titanic Kung Fu Bot Offense down below. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new. We're trying to reach 25,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Only 2,000 away. Only 2,000 subscribers away, everyone. As always, have fun, be respectful, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.